introduction. And I'm bri briefly going to walk around the ZL11 LE here. I'm sure everyone's seen the Nurburgring uh, lap time we just posted, 716, uh, making this Camaro easily the fastest production Camaro we've ever tested in Europe. Um, so a lot of people ask, and I'll try to hit on some high points and some uh, interesting things that a lot of people don't know about in the ZL11 LE. Um, I guess to start with, to talk a little bit about its tie to the ZL1 Coupe, it's got the exact same engine, the same drivetrain, the same braking package, effects, effectively the same body. Uh, the wide left fenders are, are is wide, they're slightly wider on the ZL1 and the Coupe, convertible on the ZL1 LE than they are on the SS to accommodate the wider tires. But beyond that, um, really what the ZL1 LE is about is aero, suspension and tires. That's really what it comes down to in this vehicle. Same horsepower, same torque, like I said, the same brakes. So uh, starting with the tires here, these are the Eagle F1 Supercar 3R tires. Um, these tires are capable of 1.1 lateral Gs, which uh, if anyone owns a Z28, that's about a tenth higher lateral acceleration than the Z28 has with the tro Trofeos. Uh, they're 305 in the front and 325 in the rear. They're 19 inches. Because of the width, we have to slightly decrease the diameter. Also, by decreasing the diameter and adding a wider tire, a wider tire to shape 13 pounds off the rotational mass. That's that's pretty considerable. Um, an interesting fact with these tires, we actually worked with Formula One to develop this tire compound. On a typical engineering program, such as the Camaro SS, we'll work with Goodyear. And we generally go through what they call tire iterations, where we have a new formula, a tread, you name it and we vary each of those iterations. And generally we end up with about three and then we pick one and we validate it. It took us seven to finally settle on this tire and that worked well with the rest of the vehicle and the chassis. So almost twice as much development time just in the tires as we typically do for any other program. Um, talking a little about the suspension, that's really the, 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 the golden play here. Starting up front, we got the similar uh, multi-matic spool valves that we had on the fifth gen Z28. Um, except with these, they're fully adjustable, so you can basically go to a track, take the three bolts out of the top, rotate it 180 degrees with the socket wrench, and dial it from negative 1.5 cameras to negative up to negative 3.7. Right now, this car is set at 3.7, which is uh, we recommend 2.5, but 3.7 is, is as far as you can go. And then when you're done, you take the bolts off, jack the tire up, and rotate it back for street driving. You can also change your ride height, plus or minus a half an inch. This car is currently set to its uh, lowest ride height. Uh, going back to the rear, there's a rear stab bar. Rear, uh, they call it anti-roll bar, fully adjustable. It's set at the factory. Um, there's three notches. You can dial it on plus or minus 10% for rear roll stiffness, and then the other thing we change is the uh, rear cradle mounts are solid aluminum as opposed to rubber, which is what's on the current CL1 coupe. Um, looking a little bit towards aero, so everyone notices we have a, a rear, a rear uh, exposed carbon fiber wing. I will tell you this is one of the first true airfoils on a production car at General Motors. This is was developed in a, in a wind tunnel, several, several hours of CAE and iterative testing. Every attribute on the spoiler um, is there for aero, and at speed, around 150 miles an hour, it provides 300 pounds of downforce on the rear tires. We actually had to reinforce the deck lid to compensate for the amount of downforce that the spoiler produces. That, in conjunction with the unique dive planes and a unique front lip, provides exactly the right amount of pitch moment that we need for track racing. Um, the other interesting thing is, is that it's dialed in perfectly so that at normal highway speeds, it's basically downforce neutral. So you get it when you want it, you don't get it when you don't need it. Um, and then the last thing uh, to really talk about, so we talked about aero tires, um, is uh, we talked about suspension, is mass. So the, the Multimatic uh, aluminum uh, struts actually shave 23 pounds off of the traditional steel struts. The tires we talked about shed 30, 13 pounds. We eliminated the front daylight running lamps that are on the ZL1 for another seven pounds. It's a fixed rear seat for four pounds, so the seat does not actuate forward. And then um, a little known fact is the glass is 1.5 millimeters thinner Hello. to shave four additional pounds off the rear Hello. glass. So from a ZL1 coupe yes. to the ZL1 um, coupe one um, LE is about 60 pounds lighter in addition to all the other attributes. And then some other minor, minor things, it's the same transmission, uh, six gears a little bit shorter. Um, squeeze the gear ratios in close.
closer together. Uh, but aside from that, the quarter mile time is 11.9 uh, quarter mile, 370 to 60. So the, the performance characteristics are very similar to the, the Z01 coupe. Uh, the last thing I'll mention too is all these parts are for sale. People have asked me, can I go and buy that beer, uh, rear wing? Can I buy these tires? Can I buy these diet planes? They come standard on the fascia, but effectively, if you wanted to build this car in your garage, you could. It's it's all it's all. We don't want you to. But these parts are available, and so really, what the ZL1 represents is, I'll say, the the, the keystone or the key pin in our entire career lineup. As you walk away from an LTG V6 to a V6 one only, a V6 one only is effectively. Uh, the SS suspension into a V6, an SS one I'll lead, which carries ZL1 suspension into an SS, up to a ZL1 and then a ZL1 one I'll lead. And the ZL1 one I'll lead really takes the track attribute of the triple threat, which is the ZL1, and just brings it kind of over the top. So with that, um, you guys are welcome. We'll all be around. Um, I appreciate everyone coming today. Um, if you guys have any questions on any of these vehicles specifically, feel free to approach any of us.